Hello everyone. I present to you here a gravity turbine that consists of a wheel of an overall diameter of 9.2 meters. This gravity turbine is being simulated in solid edge. A software from Siemens. The gravity turbines consists of a total of 32 weights. The weights have a unique shape. They are predominantly L-shaped but with a web part which enables for the impact on the top lever to happen earlier so here I would like you to see what happens when the turbine starts rotating what causes the rotation is the imbalance which is caused by the differences in the lever arm length on the right hand side compared to the left hand side I can show you here this is the right hand side so the wheel has started um, rotating and the first lever arm is lifted. Forgive the slow simulation but it will get faster. As you are aware, the wheel rotates in an accelerated form. It peak speed because it is being rotated by the force of gravity which has got an acceleration of 9.81 meters per second squared so so the first lever arm is already lifted so at some point it's going to get faster because of the continuous acceleration <clears throat> so the second lever arm is about to be lifted at the top watch closely it's being turned now it has been lifted yeah now it has been fully lifted that those are two lever arms which have already been lifted the wheel continues to turn it is going to get faster with time so bear with the simulation speed I wish I had a higher computing power I'm just using a, a simple laptop I wish I had a higher computing power which could even simulate faster so now the third lever arm is about to be lifted the lifting of the top lever arm is being lifted by the moment imbalance caused by the difference in the lever arm on the right hand side of the wheel compared to the left side of the wheel so the that lever arm has been lifted and the wheel continues to rotate the, the for the lever arm is also being lifted always there is imbalance of the wheel because on one side of the wheel the lever arm is longer compared to the other side of the wheel and that's why we have a, a resultant moment which is able to both rotate the wheel and to lift the top, top lever arm so that there is a continuous imbalance so this is what we can also call a forced over balance wheel because we are ensuring that there is a continuous imbalance so that is the fifth lever arm has been lifted the sixth lever arm has been lifted and you can see now the wheel is accelerating now the simulation is happening faster than before because there is acceleration if you plot the graph of velocity over time it is a continuous or it, there is a gradient meaning there is an acceleration so the seven lever arm has been lifted
the eighth lever arm is also lifted and you can see there is a lot of energy which is even confusing the simulation the ninth lever arm has been lifted the tenth lever arm is lifted and this continues the eleventh lever arm is now being lifted that is the eleventh the twelfth has been lifted so this continues and continues